good weld bead versus a bad weld bead. Creating a good weld is a combination of properly adjusting the controls on your machine, using good weave techniques, and correct travel speed. Set your MIG welder according to your welder's setup guide. Some fine tuning may be required. Adjusting machine settings. This is how a good arc sounds and looks. It has a good balance of welding wire speed and voltage. Notice that the resulting bead is slightly convex and there's a smooth transition at the toes. This is an example of how the arc sounds when you have too much wire bead speed. Notice how the bead is irregular, sits up higher, and even has a lot of spatter. You'll also notice the transition at the toes is not as smooth. To fix this, either increase the voltage, which will burn off the wire faster, or decrease the wire feed speed. It's best to adjust one of the parameters for easier control. This is an example of how the arc sounds when you have too little wire feed speed. You'll notice that the resulting bead is wider and it may be a bit convex. To fix this, either decrease the voltage, which will burn off the wire slower, or increase the wire feed speed. Weave techniques. When you're welding two pieces of steel together, the material you are welding actually melts. Good welding technique would include a slight weave to blend those two molten metals together. This is an example of a slight weave on a T-style joint. You rock between the two pieces slightly. This is an example of a half-moon weave technique on a T-style joint. You can experiment with these techniques to get the look that you want. Here's an example of using circles. The resulting weld looks like coins laying down in a row. Travel speed. Travel speed is an important factor when making a good weld. If you travel too fast, the weld may not hold. If you travel too slow, you could get too much penetration and maybe even burn a hole in what you're welding. As a general rule, you want the side of the bead buildup to be as thick as the thinnest material you are welding. For example, if you're welding 1 8 inch material to 1 quarter inch material, the bead height should be about 1 8 inch. The height is from the top of the crown of the bead to the crack in the joint you're welding. 